Yeah, Josh, New Hampshire is all about tradition, and there is a tradition in this state of voters sending first-term governors back for a second term. So Walt Havenstein not only has to contend with a seasoned and experienced debater and experienced state house hand in Governor Maggie Hassan, he's also fighting history tonight. Republican gubernatorial candidate Walt Havenstein made his Granite State debate debut just last month. While he was still trying to build his own name recognition at the time, he was already looking ahead to tonight. I think Andrew and I agree on the fact that the problem is Maggie Hassan, and the, the problem is uh, her walking dead economy. A newcomer to New Hampshire politics, Havenstein boasts a big time resume, having helmed defense contracting giant BAE Systems. On policy, he's a fiscal conservative and more moderate on social issues. I support a woman's right to choose. Incumbent Governor Maggie Hassan last appeared on the Granite State debate stage in 2012 when she squared off against Ovid LaMontagne, both candidates looking to assume the popular mantle of Governor John Lynch. It's critical that the New Hampshire governor be accessible to all people. That's something we've seen Governor Lynch do so well. He treats the governor's office like a small town mayor, and that's exactly what this form of governor is in New Hampshire, accessible to the people. But now Lynch is long gone, and Hassan is running on her own record. Now, Democrats have held the corner office in Concord for 16 of the last 18 years. And if Governor Maggie Hassan wins re-election on Tuesday, that means that by the time 2017 rolls around, Democrats will have held the governorship for all but two years of the last two decades. So, Josh, tonight, about any, if anything is uh, on the line here, certainly NHGOP pride is one of the things that's on the line.